I'm going to walk you through the most important part of this bot building process. Let us start with the first and the most important one, personalities. By personalities on the bot, we basically refer to Google accounts. Now, it is no longer in use that Google no longer respects clicks and engagements gotten from you know visitors that they cannot link back to an account so this simply means if you have an account on google and you make a click on a website that click will be verified if however somebody comes in with an incognito mode or the person is not logged in or who cannot trace the person to an account that click after a while gets marked as an invalid click so i'm going to go straight to my active cookies which i have up to 10 of them Now I've configured and set my cookies to the 10 active cookies I have present on my system. The second thing is to set how many times I would want each of these cookies to view my website. The biggest mistake I think everyone makes when, it's, when it comes to building up a bot is to click on the first visit. Now you could do this sometimes but not all the time. We created a system where a particular Google account can visit a website more than once or twice. And in between those visits, don't click on an ad. This simply means if I set this particular system to you know do three visits per personality, this simply means the total amount of cookies or personalities or Gmail account I have currently on the bot would visit my website which is target website up to three times within these three visits it would click on an ad now that depends on how many times you set it now it is also very important to state that when you put in one for instance it simply means the maximum time a cookie can click on an ad within your website or your target it simply wants but it doesn't mean that they would always click on it once most times they go on without clicking it's something the system does by itself for instance if a particular cookie clicks on an ad today it wouldn't click on that ad tomorrow but setting one just simply means you're setting the maximum number of click a particular gmail account can click on an ad depending on what you do your niche strongly um coordinates or determine the amount of clicks if you're doing something or if your niche is around something people would want to have a consistent call to action for such as if you're into the business of travels tourism it is a common sense that people who are in search of travel destinations you know engage with ads more this simply means you can take your personality to even sorry your clicks to even up to three clicks and that is because logically logically people in search of travel destinations can click on multiple apps the maximum time on target websites refers to how long each of these cookies or each of these personalities rather would spend on a website now we all know for sure that google has what we call a duration or retention time or a bounce rate which means how quick do people leave your website just when they've landed on it the numerous bots I've seen on the internet had a very strong bounce rate. This simply means the bot opens up the website and within a few seconds, the bot leaves the website having clicked on something. It doesn't make sense because it's already on its own a tell-off. Why would a whole lot of traffic click on an ad and each of those ads that were clicked, the visitors who clicked on it didn't even spend a reasonable time on the website. You can see logically it doesn't make sense. But like I said, majority of those bots has just been focused on driving in and up instead of putting the safety of the AdSense accounts first before any other thing. And when it comes to the OK bots model, we put in the AdSense account first, trying to make sure the bot looks completely human-like and undetectable. And so we brought the future of how long would you want this personality to be on a website. I can go as far as put in 10 minutes. Now, when you put in a long amount of time, it doesn't mean the bot would open up the website and just keep still looking at it, doing nothing. On the contrary, 
the longer the time it's the amount of time the ai has to go through the website itself um, move around move the cursor mouse scroll up and scroll down the details on what to put or how long to put on a website should be gotten from your google analytics this simply means you should check your google analytics for the particular page you are driving traffic to to inquire how long people spend on that page search so engine optimization came in as a result of people with low seo we understood the need to be ranked on google's front page in as much as you would want to make a lot of money from google adsense it is also prominent to understand that traffic has to look organic most of this personality would not go directly to your website but they would first of all head over to google and search for something related to your article using a keyword string um, generator so you give it your link it goes through your link finds keywords pick up those keywords search for them on google and it will keep going through all the google search from the first page to the second page to the third page whenever it sees that particular link to your article it clicks on it so that way after a while google thinks your particular article was very very resourceful and they take it from the last page to the front this page. is where you put the link of your target website this could be an article this could be a web page and once you're done you hit deploy it automatically gives you a zip file which is the code you should put in on the folder where you've already created your installation and from there henceforth you put it there you click on the run and that is it if you want another video detailing how to do this for youtube channel i'll make an episode as the week comes by thank you everyone